Hello guys and welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Max from Autofy and I will show you today how to uh, create a bot on BotPress and then create a workflow with Zapier so you can catch all the leads that will be on your website and uh, that will be chatting with your uh, AI chatbot. So at the end, if your chatbot um, answered all the questions of the user, the user will get asked if he uh, wants the company to get in touch with him and then he is able to fill out his name his email address and his phone number and then it will get automatically uploaded into the google worksheet for that we will use this is, uh, zapier botpress and google sheets if you haven't done it yet create an account on all those tools so you can just follow me step by step and copy everything i'm i'm doing but before I start with the video, I just uh, wanted to let you know that everything I will be using here in the video, scripts, tools, and whatever else, I will also upload in the Discord. Feel free to join our Discord. We are a closed community of very uh, experienced and valuable people. We exchange information there um, every day, and it's super serious over there. And if you have questions, you can also um, just join there and ask everything you would like to do and get in contact with us or recommend some video ideas or whatever. All right, so let's start with the video. First of all, you click on create chatbot, like I explained it in the last video. Then everything will get set up. We will use the same example like last time, Amazon.com. Then the chatbot will get set up. We can delete the first two nodes here. So only the start node and the end node will be uh, available now you click on standard note again you click on text and then you can uh, write the first welcome text hello please fill out your informations so we can get in touch with you once that's done you can click on add card again and drag and drop three single choices into the node and one execution code at the bottom so the single choice uh, the first single choice will be the question what's your name what's your name you can select your person name so the bot will catch the first name and the last name the variable will be just name click on create name and the second one will be what's your email you can scroll down here to email select it create a variable call it email as well and the third one will be phone number just call it phone uh, what's your phone number This is the text that the bot will ask the user, so he can just um, type his phone number, his email address, and his name. We can watch for the number, enter the number variable, so the script detects that, and save here as well. And then we have one execution code. For that, I have this script here. Don't get scared now, you don't need to code or anything you just have to paste your url in here but uh, that will also be available in the discord the second once that's done awesome that's basically everything we need for now connect both uh, connect both nodes together and now you, you can just um, test it out here in the bot just write hi then you will get an answer what's your name i can for example say max the second question, what's your email? Max at off.ai. And the third question will be the phone number. You can just have anything you want in here. Now you see it's um, capturing the, the uh, variables. That means it's working. Now we go to Zaps. We click on create a Zap. Click on. One second, it's loading. Click on webhooks by Sapier. Click on catch a hook. Then continue. 
continue. Now we will have to uh, test the trigger out, just copy the address that Zapier gives you, enter into the execution code that I have provided. and paste it right here. Okay, once that's done, we can just communicate with the chatbot again and do the same game again from the beginning. What's your name? Max Altify. What's your email? Max at Altify from AI. What's your phone number? Now we can, get, can go back to Sapir, test the trigger and see if it catched everything. Like you can see here, it catched Max, Altify, it catched the email address and the phone number, what means everything worked well. Now we can continue with the selected rec uh, record. Um, now the second part will begin where you just click on Google Sheets. Now can you choose an event. We will just say create a spreadsheet row. Then we will click on continue. I created a Google Sheet here already, what I, uh, and I named it YouTube Example. Detected it already, probably. You just have to connect your account first, your Google account. Once that's done, you have to choose a drive. Then you have to choose the sheet that you want to use for it. I will choose YouTube Example and the worksheets. Now you just have to write um, the first name in here, last name, email, and phone number. So Sapir can fill out all the information. We go back to Sapir, click on refresh fields, and now you can see that um, Sapir collected all the data that is on the sheet. If it didn't collect it, it, you have to publish it first so that everyone who gets the link can see what's on the Google Sheet. Um, but, but if uh, Sapir detects all the information, you can just uh, click on continue and test action. That means that Sapir will give the Google Sheet the command and will fill out all the information in the Google Sheet. Let's see if it worked. Test. Okay. If it didn't work, we we'll just go back to the bot. We write hi, and we're gonna fill out all the information again from the beginning. Okay, I forgot to select the Google Sheet. Ah, okay, no, no, I, I know what I forgot. So if you go to the first name, you have to select first name. If you go to the second, to the last name, you have to select last name. If you go to the email address, you select your email address. And if you go to the phone number, you also call, uh, select your phone number. And once that's done, we are basically finished. We can retest it again, and now it should work. Let's go back to the sheet and like you can see here, everything got filled out. So now we can publish the Sapir workflow and from now on everything is automated. We can just close this one here, go back to our BotPress Studio, write whatever we want to write. Now the bot will ask us all the questions. Max Autify again. What's your email? Max. YouTube. What's your phone number? Whatever. And 
yeah, that's it basically. Now we go back to the sheet and it filled it out automatically. That's it guys. Don't forget to join the Discord. I will upload everything over there, also the script. Um, otherwise you can just uh, copy everything that I have here and write it down manually by yourself. But I would be really happy if you join and um, also about your feedback. And if you want to know anything else, just write it in the comments. Um, and yeah, have a good day. See you in the next video.